I'm Kristen Kalman. I'm the social worker here at Mary E. Griswold Elementary School. We are using the coffee cart in many ways for our students here at Griswold and the way that I am using the coffee cart is to allow space for practical application for our students to practice their interpersonal skills with both peers and staff. Students are able to practice their verbal and nonverbal communication which can be by how they greet the staff member, interrupting a staff member in an appropriate way is a big piece, asking the questions of what kind of coffee did they order, do they want cream or sugar, and also that nonverbal communication of sustaining eye contact, you know, waving hello, waving goodbye. It also is teaching interpersonal skills amongst the students. So we have several students who assist with the coffee cart every week. So they have to work together to decide who is going to fulfill the role of the barista, the role of the cashier. They have to take turns. They are handing each other the cups. They're handing each other the money, handing each other the really important creamers. We offer half and half oat milk and almond milk options. We're very fancy here. Another big piece of it is it allows for connection for students and staff in the building. So students are able to deliver coffee to a teacher maybe they had in the past or a teacher they used to work with that they no longer do. So it's a really nice chance just for a quick catch up and to build that connection. And we've also used the coffee cart for some of our new students here at Griswold School as an opportunity for them to get to know the building and to meet staff members. The other big pieces too is it's allowing our students to build connections with people they might see in the building on a daily basis. So for example, Mr. Sheldon in our IT department or our food service workers. So these might be people that our students see or have a very quick interaction with on a daily basis, but they might not know their name. So the coffee cart is a great way to introduce themselves, get to know each other a little bit better. So the next time they see them in the food service line, they're able to say hello um, and know each other by name. The coffee cart has also been a way for staff to connect with other staff in the building. So staff have the opportunity to gift a beverage to another staff of their choice and the students really love surprising that staff member who has gifted a coffee with their coffee and letting them know who it was from. So it's just a quick way for a staff member to say thank you or say hello to another staff member in our building. Hi, I'm Erica Tardif and I am the math specialist at Griswold and we are trying to bridge the math um, that happens with our coffee cart program. So in the fall, the fifth graders researched cost effectiveness of the products for our coffee cart. They decided on a cost of the products that were sold and then calculated the profit. The coffee cart does not accept Venmo, so teachers need to pay the old-fashioned way with money. And students take a lot of enjoyment uh, calculating change. They take turns at the cashier. Students take turns with being the barista, pouring the coffee. And the cashier also computes the total, takes the money, makes the change with bills and coins. Last January, the math department took over the coffee cart for two weeks, one week for fifth grade, one week for fourth grade. And each week we ran the coffee cart with our math students and we raised a total of $114 to donate to a charity of our choice. We chose to partner with Bags of Hope Connecticut which is an organization that provides duffel bags to children who are in foster care. And we raised an equivalent of four monogrammed duffel bags that we were able to give, stuffed with personal care items for the children. So thanks a lot, Tay, for stopping by and seeing everything the coffee cart has to offer our students and staff at Griswold School.